This video is about bacterial resistance. Bacteria reproduce by binary fission. They reproduce at a very fast rate so it can evolve rapidly. Mutations can produce new bacterial strains. These new strains might be resistant to antibiotics. As bacteria are dividing during binary fission, some of the bacteria mutate so that they then become resistant to antibiotics. Normally, antibiotics treat bacteria. Bacteria make us ill by releasing toxins and the antibiotics neutralize the effects of those toxins. So what happens when your body is infected with non-resistant bacteria? So the bacteria multiply through binary fission. At this point, the bacteria spreads and you will start to become sick. You would then take antibiotics to treat the infection, the bacteria will die and you'd get better again. Now moving on to what happens when you are infected with drug resistant bacteria. So just like before, the bacteria multiplies at a rapid rate. Now you would start to become sick because the infection has spread. Now, normally you take antibiotics, but remember the bacteria is resistant to those antibiotics, so they won't be effective at all. So the bacteria will continue to spread and the person will remain sick. We're going to look in a bit more detail as to how genetic mutations cause drug resistance. So we start off with non-resistant bacteria that multiplies. Some of the bacteria mutate to become resistant to antibiotics. The antibiotic resistant gene is able to be transferred to non-resistant bacteria. This is known as gene transfer. Now in the presence of antibiotics, only the resistant bacteria will survive and continue to thrive throughout the body. MRSA is a type of bacteria that is resistant to several widely used antibiotics. It's present on the skin of about 1 in 30 people. Now it's very common in hospitals. And now remember, in hospitals, people have very weak immune systems. You have patients that have wounds that allow entry into the body and MRSA can easily be transferred and is difficult to treat. Now, why is it difficult to treat? The reason why it's difficult to treat is because it is resistant to antibiotics. Now, the problem of antibiotics resistant has been made worse by over prescribing of antibiotics by doctors. So, for example, prescribing antibiotics for viral infections. Patients also not taking antibiotics as prescribed. So let's say the doctor prescribes antibiotics for one week. Pa patients might stop taking the antibiotics on day five because they start to feel better. But what they don't realize is that they still have bacteria that is present and eventually that bacteria will become resistant to antibiotics. Then we also have farmers who are making the problem worse by using unnecessary antibiotics in farming or agriculture. You also have poor infection control in hospitals and clinics, poor hygiene and sanitation practices, as well as lack of rapid lab tests. To reduce the rate of development of antibiotic resistant strains, doctors should not prescribe antibiotics inappropriately, such as treating non-serious or viral infections. Patients should complete their course of antibiotics so all bacteria are killed and then survive to mutate and form resistant strains. The agricultural use of antibiotics should be restricted. Now, the, the development of new antibiotics is costly and it takes a very long time to happen. It's unlikely to keep up with the emergence of new resistant strains.